Hey there, y'all. Welcome back. We took the time yesterday to kind of introduce ourselves, and with this video, I really wanted to introduce you to the real stars of the show around this household. And no, I'm not talking about Austin. But before we get started on that, let's just, let's go, let's go see what he's doing. What do you guys think? Let's flip around here. Hey, babe. <laughs> Hi. What you doing? Editing a music video. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. For your YouTube? Yeah. I mean, it may as well be mm -hmm. our YouTube, let's be real, but, um, <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's gonna be good. So yeah. what I'll do is if you wanna see what he's working on, I will link it in the description below. So go check out, or up there in the corner. Maybe. Or how about both? Why not? Maybe both. Yeah. It'll be up in the corner eventually once we release it publicly, but he does have a very special thing at austinbrownmusic.com where if you want early access to his music, that was, that was great. Uh, that that was such a good dab. I lost my train of thought. You know it happens. It happens. Code is um, yeah, the real stars of the show are ready for their close up though, so I'm gonna let you finish this. Deal. And uh, I'm gonna get back to you. Y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs> all right. First up, since he seems to be the loudest one all the time, this right here, this is Coda. We fondly call him Coda Bear. We also call him other names that we can't use on YouTube. He is adorable. He is precious. You gonna sit for the camera? Hey, sit. Good boy. Good boy, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Yes, you are, you're so handsome. Anyway, speaking of uh, handsome boys, we got over here monitoring dad to see how his, uh, this is his supervisor. You know, making sure that he's working hard yeah. over here. He this protects is, me. He does. This handsome boy, yes, you already know I'm talking about you, is Titus. Hi, oh, did you hit your head, Papa? Did you hit your head? You just had to come and get some lovings, huh? Yeah. So Titus, I have had for quite a few years now, about eight and a half. Uh, he's almost nine years old. I mean, well, yeah, we've about eight and a half, so. He's uh, nursing a hurt knee right now, poor guy. I know, but this handsome face is a whole 110 pounds of love. It is not time for your close-up anymore. We already did your close-up. It's not time for your close-up anymore. Like father, like son. But anyways, so Titus is a 110 pound pit bull, as you can tell, he is a land hippo in the nicest way possible and coda we think he, he's a yorkie mix of some kind again a rescue you never really know so uh if you think you have any idea what this dog is please let us know save me the money on a dog dna test because i'm real close all right we will move on to the first of our fish tanks so this is our biggest tank. We do have two more right over there that I will show you momentarily. But this is our big boy tank full of our big boy fish. So we actually have three bass and four bluegill in this one tank. We caught them when they were fry, which are, I mean, the babiest of babies. They were teeny tiny. We do have names for all of the fish in this tank, so I will try and introduce you as they go by. This right here, oh, my finger scared him. This is Bubba, and that is Tank. And then for our bluegill, we have Curly, Larry, Mo, and Shep. If you don't know what that's from, we can't be friends. And back there, hiding in the back, that's Lance. Come on, Lance, come back here. Don't be camera shy. That is Lance, my mother named him. Apparently my mother is an NSYNC fan, so that is Lance Bass. But, I mean, I guess we could go ahead and feed these guys. Let's give them a little food. So we did get these fish out of our pond, which you saw in the last video and they will eventually be released back into the pond. Uh, these guys probably first, because as you're about to see, they're quite a bit bigger 
than the fish in the other tank. All right, right over here, we have our second fish tank. Uh, probably my favorite, because we really took our time kind of aquascaping this one, this jade mask, I think is super cool. But we have some really special friends in here. Uh, funny story, we shot a music video, Real Talk, where we had a very large bass in that tank right over there. And we were feeding him minnows and just whatever baby fry that we could find out of the pond. And when we released him after the music video, we found two, not one, but two baby bluegill that were in there that had survived by climbing down into the gravel that was a little bit bigger in the other tank and basically living out of a cave and only coming out when they thought Willie was full, which was the, uh, the other bass. So this guy right here and this guy right here are the two that survived. And then this one was just the runt of the litter out of our other fish. This right here is uh, another runt. This is Urkel. I call him that because he's got massive eyes. I don't know if you can tell. It reminds me of Urkel's glasses. So this is Urkel. Hi, bud. And then our very special friend, this is Jerry. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell from the video, but Jerry was actually born with a birth defect and uh, his gills are a little wonky. So uh, yeah, don't tell the other fish, but he's my favorite. And uh, he's still thriving. And again, we're gonna kinda, we're planning on releasing him once they're big enough to not really get eaten by other fish, but this is Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Take a moment and feed these guys as well where my blood worms go. There we go. <laughs> but there is a slight problem with the bluegill over here. Well, I don't have names for them. I have been fondly calling our littlest guy here Squirt, but we need names for these three bluegills. But if you guys wanna take a moment and just drop a couple names in the comments below, help us out. We'll keep Squirt as Squirt, but I need names for the bigger bluegill and the medium-sized one, so help your girl out. And last for our tanks, right here was our terrarium. We actually weren't planning on keeping this this long. We had gotten tadpoles and watched them grow to frogs, and that video will be up soon. When it is up, I will link it right up here in the top right-hand corner, so click on that to see that. But we ended up keeping it because all of this is zhuzh, it's pennywort, uh, from our pond. And when we put it in here, we kind of created this really cool ecosystem. But one day I realized that there was a teeny tiny little spider in this ecosystem. And I watched it molt and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when it came time to release the frogs, I, uh, I didn't have the heart to uh, let it go. So let's see, I'm gonna turn this to the side real quick. It's gonna be hard to tell. Let me zoom in here. Do you see her? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Charlotte. And the one animal that I always said that I would never have as a pet I guess I officially have as a pet. That is Charlotte. And uh, this has actually become one of our favorite tanks. I'll put this back on here. There we go. This has become one of our favorite tanks because it really has a whole ecosystem in it. It's hard to tell. We actually uh, hatched a dragonfly on accident. Yeah, we hatched a dragonfly in here. It was in the water, part of the penny wart when we brought it in. We were like, what? is that had no idea and the next day there was a massive dragonfly flying around our house and uh we realized pretty quickly that this right here is just a exoskeleton and we hatched a dragonfly on accident so that was a fun fun little experiment there uh if you guys would like to see that footage let me know in the comments because we accidentally caught that on video now it is time though for the real star of the show the number one around this household Coda's best friend, but we gotta take a road trip because I do believe that the king of the house is napping.
Hi there. I find you napping in a new spot every single day. Are you mad at me for waking you up? I'm sorry, I just had to show you off to all the people. All right, y'all. This right here is dog. Dog does not belong to us. We belong to dog. Uh, and yes, our cat's name is Dog, D-A-W-G. That's, that's real life. You've probably seen him in a few of Austin's videos. Dog is actually a neighborhood cat. He has lived here a lot longer than we have. And uh, he just decided one day that he was gonna be a partially indoor cat and hang out with us. So he sleeps in here every night. As you can see, he's made a nice little bed in my jacket here. And uh, yeah. Sorry to disturb you. I will let you sleep now. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. We love you. And those right there are our domesticated animals, you could say. Because besides these that we have in the house, we also feed more deer, more skunks, more birds, more everything, turkeys, the whole nine yards, whatever we can get our hands on in the yard, we love dearly. We actually had a really cool encounter with some brand new deer that we hadn't seen before while I was cleaning the fish tanks earlier. So uh, let's take a moment, check that out real quick. Is it, uh, are you gonna give it a shot? We're gonna try. See yeah. if they run off. Yeah, they may not. As long as you don't come too far out, we should be okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand behind the foggy door. It's clearly humid today, guys. Friends, hi. Back, back, back. Hi, friends. Hi. Are you hungry? I have corn. I'm gonna take the corn right down there. Okay. I'm not coming towards you. Oop. They're a little weary. Oop, Mama's like, what's that? She's... Ooh. Uh oh, I love it. Enjoy your food, okay? Love it. They're walking back. I think that's Mama. I told you she was pregnant. Mm. It's okay. Hi, Mama. It's Mama for sure. Yeah. Hi, Mama. It's just the rain. It's just the rain in the rain. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys like your corn. I tried to put out some flower seeds for you, but the skunks kept eating them. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. You have such a pretty baby. It's okay. It's okay. Pretty freaking cool. How's it going, babe? Good. It's a delicate art. It is a delicate that art. It's sometimes I don't feel like an artist. I feel like I'm just throwing brip at the wall, you know, <laughs> just seeing what sticks. Yeah, that's kind of how we roll around here, but totally fine. Again, I will link that below if you want to see more of just our random shenanigans. Now that you've gotten to know the animals by name, 
and help us name a couple name a couple bluegill because I don't have names for all of them yet. You know, subscribe, come hang out with us. This is what we do all the time. Check out Austin's channel. The link will be in the description. You can't miss it. But you know what everybody always tells you to do. All right, I'm gonna make y'all a deal, okay? If we can get Coda to sing for you, you should like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below about what you think about it, all right? Coda, I need you to do this for me, okay? I guess we're gonna play them out, huh? Yeah, we're gonna play them out. <laughs> It's for them to what, babe? Subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, do the thing. Y'all already know. We, we love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.